at once. Wow. Sexy mama tour guide. Woo! I think my video just went rated R. No more PG-13. Good morning, everybody. Well, I am gonna go and do something fun today. How about waterfalls? How about fantastic, beautiful, amazing waterfalls? I absolutely love waterfalls. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a uh, cool lot, I think. It was the last time I was at waterfalls. I'm using uh, the tour company, Circle O Travel, because obviously if you don't have your own vehicle and stuff and you don't know where to find these things, these are the people um, you gotta kinda use, right? And their prices are pretty good, so don't worry about that. Uh, it depends what you wanna do and how many people you're with, but it's gonna be cheaper if you don't go solo, I guess, because, you know, it's a van and a driver that drives you around along with the tour guide. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so uh, I'm excited. It's not that far away to go there. It's about an hour trip uh, to get down to that area. Circle of travel right there. And so yeah, looking forward to today. And there's gonna be more after that, but for now, let's stick with that. So she wasn't here last time, so I didn't get to see her desk, but there, there you go, there's her desk. Uh, you don't really even need to come in here. If you're next door, you could just ask for them to range everything and they'll range everything. So last night actually, and the night before, uh, I was able to the front desk here. Remember that place I went by called Pins and Oil, Oils and Pins, something like that. It's a, it's a massage parlor just right up here. And I was like, oh, acupuncture and all that. Um, so I didn't even know, but they were like, would you like a massage or anything? We can schedule it and they'll come to your room and do it. So I didn't actually go there. They sent somebody to my room, had the massage. It's 600 pesos, but that is in room service. Okay. that's entirely different than if you go to the um, actual spa but yeah in room service you don't even have to worry about anything 600 pesos and it was like floating on air it was an absolute dream it was fantastic very relaxing and so much so that I did it again the second night so it was wonderful wonderful uh, masseuse was name Anna so highly recommend so this is Joe this is Tim they are in Iloilo City for the last year so far we had a good conversation and they are down here doing the exact same thing and also checking them out for the tours. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna see you in Iloilo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, enjoy your day. They were such a cool couple, seriously, such a cool couple. Would a truck come for the sugar cane? They're yeah. so big and so wide that, that you barely, barely fit. And there's a lot of mud right now it's on both sides. So you don't wanna kinda go too far off. And so that's where, uh, yeah, it gets a little like, whoa, but one usually stops for the other and then you make it through. But oh, wow, wow, that was pretty close. You wanna hire a tour guide because I'm telling you, if you try to find this on your own and have to struggle through all the mud and everything else to get there, um, yeah, you may not enjoy it as much. And this way it's a lot easier. The weather changes so dramatically. It is much, much, much cooler now. And it's a little bit spitting and raining right now. The mud everywhere, I don't know, everything. It just feels so cool. This is like a good trek. Look at this rope bridge here. I, was, I thought it was bamboo or something. Nope, it is all kinds of uh, mesh and expanded metal mesh and wire mesh and you name it. There's all kinds of, and it's a suspension bridge, but it's all done in cables. I don't think I'm gonna die. It feels a lot more safe than most suspension bridges, I gotta tell you, because it's all made of steel. Um, although steel corrodes, so, you know, maybe. Anyhow, so here's the river here. It, obviously, the waterfall is further up. You see some of the little rapids down here. And the whole town's down below there. They, they all live off of the, the fresh water that comes out of here. Oh, got some carabaos down there right now. Oh, another one over there. Didn't even see them. Um, yeah, and so yeah, the mountain spring, obviously when you first get to the mountain, that's where you're gonna get the freshest water and then it makes its way down. And uh, yeah, it's so beautiful here. It really is. Just imagine like, just look at that. It's like something out of a National Geographic movie or something like that. From both ends. Well, they actually have a stop here. Just, just located just before it, not too far. Alphaville Grapes Farm. All right. Alphaville's Grapes Farm. And uh, they also have gas here. So if you need gas, ta-da, you have a gas. And uh, this, uh, we just drove by. Okay, we're in the middle of nowhere, right? Middle of nowhere, just like 
the most provincial area you ever imagined and there was this absolutely massive Mormon temple right over here so this is one of the areas she said that the Mormons have set up and so I'm waiting for to see the people to come with their little uh, clipboards and everything in the the tags but I haven't seen any yet uh, anyway so this is a big area for them and uh, I was quite shocked it's not something you would imagine right you drive down the road and then boom okay where'd that come from all right here we go we're going in to see the grape farm so this grape farm has been only in business for 10 months now and they already have grape growth that's amazing like i always hear you know all these wineries and stuff this is not a winery um how it takes like 10 years and stuff but i think that's something to do with maturing the grapes or something i'm not sure um so but anyway either way i was shocked i didn't realize you could grow them that quickly so you know this is obviously the perfect growing environment um they're also going to grow strawberries here so for the next season um which will be like the burr months so december so next december they will have strawberries which is really cool because it's not a normal thing here right it's too hot usually um and you have to go up into the mountains or go to baguio that kind of thing you're look at you don't read the sign sorry <laughs> Just I'm joking a, with her. I'm joking thing. with her. It says, please keep off the grass. And she's like pointing at the grass. I'm like, why am I going to walk on the grass? Follow the paths. Anyway, so yeah, it's a quick stop off here before you go over to the falls. You can come back here and eat some uh, food, which we are going to do. Oh, they even have swings. What the heck? What the heck? That's so cool. Uh oh, it's all locked up. It's open. Oh, uh, okay, it's open. If you want to pick and taste, uh, as I uh, asked permission uh, last night, you can. Wow. All right. No more grapes for you guys. There's not going to be any left. I'm just going to eat them all. Look at this. What? They're so plentiful. Like I said, 10 months. I'm not expecting that. I was like, okay, I'm going to see a few, but they're everywhere here probably should ask about pesticides first but yeah and you have your swings so you can just sit here and swing in the shade well right now shade's not that important because it's quite cool and there's no sun right now but this this is really cool this is really cool so everywhere you see here lots of grapes they're a little some of them are a little still small but these aren't these are bigger ah whatever might be a little dirty, I don't know. Mm. The good and bad about the Philippines, mostly good by the way, is that everything here pretty much, unless it's imported, has seeds. So bad if you just chew. Good that everything is heirloom. You can just regrow it, you can regrow it over and over and over again. Big corporations are holding on to the power and all the money in order for you to have a crop and that kind of thing. So that that's the good, obviously, is that anybody can start a farm of any kind by just having literal fruit or something because there will be seeds in it. Uh, bad is because in the West, we're so used to everything being seedless, seedless, and like it's a positive, um, which it is for eating, but not very sustainable. So they got all this mesh here, I guess to keep all the birds out so they don't eat all the grapes on them. And I've seen in the pictures, like right now, obviously it's cloudy and everything else. Oh, these must be getting ready. Oh no, they're still small, so that's why. So they're still protected right now. And that's why they bag them like this, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I've seen in the pictures when it, the sun is shining and it's just coming right through and just glowing, making everything all glow up and everything. It looks quite pretty in here. And so what other plans are for this location going forward? Flower flower plants we're gonna have flowers here too yes. oh wonderful so this will be like a whole tropical flower mm, type yes. garden flower plants and grape the strawberry yeah and the strawberry is coming soon mm. so it's gonna be what it's really big in the philippines is people want places to be in, instagram friendly right yeah. so they can come and they can take pictures and so when they have all the flowers here they're gonna have all the grapes here they're gonna have the strawberries here not, it's gonna attract a lot of people for that love grapes look at that and of course for all you couples out there look at that you can have your little picture here and also so this is uh somewhere in all these clouds here is the tallest mountain in all of the the panay and it is called the 
Mount Agudu. Mount Agudu. So can't see it right now, unfortunately, but you know what? This just just this look like this, it's it's good in its own. I, I gotta be honest. And you got a wishing well here. Oh, okay, now this isn't in this grape farm here part that I'm about to show you, and I don't mean the sorry, sorry. Uh, hello again, one second. I just saw a horse. I saw a horse. Right over there. Found a horse? Yeah, I found a, a, a spotted horse. We have, you know what, sir? We have ostrich here. You have ostriches? Yes. We have two pairs you, of ostriches. Can you ride them? No. No, not that not that kind. Just for viewing. Just for viewing. Yes. That's for viewing. And they're for, part of this? No. No, uh, it's part of the barangay, but it's not here. It's oh, okay. there. It's... So an ostrich farm. Uh, it's just two pairs. Oh, just two. Okay. Well, that's okay. But we have also monkeys and really? peacocks. Yeah, monkey, peacocks and wild, uh, you know what? Wild pigs. Yes, bo like boars. Yeah, it's yeah. colored black. Oh, yes, okay. We have that also. Wow. It's inside in the compound of our barangay captain. Oh, wait. wow, okay. It's so like don't, a mini zone. Don't mess with the barangay captain. <laughs> we'll sick those you ostriches on you. You want to meet here? Yeah, of course. Hmm? Later, sir. All right. <gasps> Hello, little man. Hello. <laughs> say hi, say hi. Say hi. There you go, there you go. So yeah, so they, they, they have here all the snacks you're going to need or anything, no problem. Like I said, they do serve food here. Look at this. They got all these seating areas over here and a beautiful, beautiful dog. Good thing it's up here in the in the mountains, so it's much cooler because that is a gorgeous dog that, that probably doesn't like a lot of heat. Hello. I hope you're friendly. <gasps> Hello. Oh, you are friendly. Hello. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. A little bit of wet dog never killed anyone. Yeah. So good looking. Such a nice dog. All right, am I getting into big trouble or something? I don't know what's going on. I got to get out. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You got to do with these checkpoints here and sign your name so they know who's in there. They even have curfews. Look at that. 10 p.m. to 4 in the morning. So for six hours, they do not want you outside. You got to stay inside. No trouble. Hello, guys. So this is Tabunakana. Tabunakan. Tabunakan. Okay, Tabunakan. There we go. And so this is where you have to do your signing of your your name and your number and all that good stuff and how many people are part of the party. They might. They might. Oh, we're gonna find out very soon. They probably have like a small fee or something like that. This way. Okay, let's go. I'm just walking. Okay. Hello, everybody! Hi. I saw them all waving, so I was like, okay. They, they get shy, though. Wait, wait, what are all these little houses? It's a church. It's a small Bill church. Small. The one? But who, who's big enough to go to that church? Ah, this one. You're, you're yeah, I know what that is. I know what a church looks like. <laughs> you, you could, I, I don't think these are churches. Christmas, uh, small uh, house. Signed, uh, Christmas village here. Oh, okay, okay. Because so... I wanted to meet the people who live in those houses. <laughs> uh, I was, you know, little, little. Later, oom later. Oompa Loompas. <laughs> All right, maybe later. they got their own Oompa Loompas here. All right, let's go up. Uh, the dwarves? Yeah, yeah little, little, little Oompa Loompas. What's up here? They invited me to come up here. Take off my uh, flip flops. Oh, that's okay, they're all probably gross. Oh, look at this. Oh, so this is their barangay office. Yeah, this must be the barangay office. Oh, there we go. I'm guessing that is the barangay captain right there. Well, well, well. So, are you the barangay captain? No. No. Oh, I was going to say that's the barangay captain. Yes. Okay, okay, good. But we're going to take pictures. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. So the fiesta here, um, as you as you all know, you have to have the gambling. But then they also have the trampolines there for the kids. That's fantastic. Maybe they bet on that too. I don't know. What kid gets to jump highest? I don't know. Hello guys, how are you? Hi. And uh, so yeah, it's a very cute little uh, barangay down here. 
honestly, you know, many people are always saying like, go to the cities, go to the cities or whatever, but it's so peaceful and it's so nice here that I really like it. Oh, here you go. So they have the little thing here that shows a little bit tourism stuff. Oh yeah, the tourism center. Um, picture, take, picture taking at the horses is 20 pesos. There you go. I took a picture of a horse. Don't tell anybody. Oh, monkeys. There's the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. You got a couple of slides in there. And then you gotta take a break. Oh, we're going over here. Oh, we're going over here. Oh. Wow, you don't call her barangay captain, you call her the mother of the barangay. This place is so pretty though, look at that. Oh, I like the feel of this place. Look at the old architecture though. I don't know, it feels like Mayan, like, you know, in the Mayan ruins in Mexico. The small people. <laughs> oh, there they are. Yeah. I found their house. Hey, you guys have great houses, great houses. Wow, and people like donated food. Yes. Is this a luck thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a luck like thing. That. Okay. Very good. Lots of, lots of plants and flowers, but then they have tables and chairs in between all of them. This is our Captain, uh, Mrs. Alfaro. Hello, hello. Hi, this is our daughter. Hello. hello, nice to meet you. Nice I mean, the daughter first, you. I guess. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure. Oh, she's getting her nails done right now. <laughs> Living the best life. That's fantastic. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is such a lovely place. You have a lovely barangay. Thank you so much. And I got to say, you're very beloved. <laughs> uh, the people all said good things about you, and that's a fantastic thing. <laughs> That's Thank a great so thing. That's actually how you should measure yourself <laughs> and how others think of you. So that, that is very nice compliment. Yeah. Thank you so much. So yeah, it's so unique in here and it's just like, I don't know, eclectic? Does that make sense? I don't know if that translates well, but because you go to one little area and it's something else and yes, then you come over yeah. here and it's yes, something else, that's you know? True. It's a lot of variety. Like right, right. A lot of, a lot of interests, yeah. but you, you can go very tropical. Well. Yes, it's, it's really yeah. a lot of plants. Oh, somebody in your lives, it's a good peacock. <laughs> and other people that are monkeys. Um, ostrich? Yeah, ostrich probably those two. <laughs> Lots of chickens wandering around too. Yeah, this is such a unique um, residence. It's a residence, so. Wow, they have a lot in here. This just keeps going and going. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's like a labyrinth. I need a map to get out. A big area. Yeah. And I got like a statue of Lapu Lapu over here. Yeah, there. Orchids. Orchids? Yeah. Like even the architecture, it changes so differently from building to building. Uh, this is a chapel. Oh, that's the chapel, okay. Yeah. Well, still, the chapel's made from entirely different building materials. Yes, and everywhere, like you could have thousands of people in here. I swear, there's so many places to sit yes, everywhere. You can invite the whole barangay inside the compound. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Even look at this one. Nobody's gonna marry me off, right? <laughs> no. Okay, good. And then it's my father over there. Oh, has your father passed? Uh, four years ago. Four years. Okay. You can bring your new wife and be married there <laughs> in a small chapel. We are, you are Stop welcome. planning my future already. My goodness, my goodness. I see the peacock. Yes. Let's change the subject real quick here. Okay, so just like in real life, the men are the better looking ones. <laughs> a little dangerous to say that around four women, right? Um, 
Yeah, so yeah, that's that's the th unique thing about peacocks is uh, that's the female back there yeah, looking very, very, very boring. Really how to attract the women to show their beauty. Right. <laughs> and just like in the real world, right? Yeah, that's true. No. We are all animals. We are all yeah. the same. We are, but yes. in, I think with humans, it's the female uh, that is the peacock. Uh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Not a lot of beauty pageant for men. Uh, yeah. Just oh, saying. But, but you know, there's females some. also have a lot of beauty pageants for men. Yeah, they do. They do. I've just never seen their bathing suit competitions <laughs> and uh, their <laughs> night nightgown or whatever, ball gown. I don't think it's the same. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, that's all right, so we, we went down the street a bit, walk around, and all of a sudden ended up here where we're going to find the ostriches. Big pigs, and they're not little pigs at all, okay? These are big, that, big, the big. Pig. <laughs> Look at him. The black one. The He's black getting one excited. Oh, they have a wild boar in here somewhere. Oh, it's getting muddy. I'm going over here. Although the ostriches decided to, right now, to be standing in the mud. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I can kind of get close though without having to go in the mud. I don't want to go in the mud. There we go. Hello. Wow, right away. It's like, hey, what's this? What's this guy? Any food? And if you've never been close to an ostrich, you, you, you wouldn't realize that they are totally dinosaurs. 100%. Especially when you can see their feet. They can't see the feet right now, but you can see them in person and you'll be blown away. You're always, you right away, you're like, wait a minute, that's prehistoric. That shouldn't be here. All right, so I don't want you to be afraid. I asked them what this is, and they said it's an alien ship. Um, it's like an old tourist attraction. But they wanted you all to know, because they were worried I might believe it, um, that it's not real. It's not a real alien ship. They don't fly here in concrete structures with uh, rebar. <laughs> what a unique and interesting thing. As you can see, it's raining. It's definitely raining. Plan to get wet anyway. So I wanted to tell you something. So most waterfalls, you have to go you know down this crazy dirt road and then you have to hike maybe up to an hour or something like that this place is one of the best for well expats or anybody who may have served in the military and were wounded anything like that you got concrete roads right not the whole way as you saw but once you get up to this point everything concrete paths everything um technically handicap accessible but you need somebody to push your wheelchair if you have one but everything is right by the road so you don't have to go trekking through the mountains and mud, is, mud and really difficult terrain in order to get to the waterfalls. Just a little bit of a slope here and they did make it, like I said, that you could be pushed up the whole way. You even got one of the springs there coming right out of the rocks. Okay, so I, I was a little off. This isn't finished yet. It will be finished. This is how far they've gotten so far. So by the time you get here, hopefully it'll be done. Um, but yes, it is uh, a dirt rocky path after that. Again, it's not very far. I can see the falls. We're almost there already. So yeah, we were just right there. Now we're here. Look at that fresh water coming right out, pouring out everywhere. No problem because it's all fed by the spring. So they do have a P, uh, P -A W H or P D, I don't know, <laughs> handicap friendly, as you can see with the ramp there. Once they have everything done, accessible toilet. That's the main thing. And all the way down here is the rapids that you can hear from a distance. And there's quite a few people up here. You got Barangay Police. Yeah. Good morning or afternoon. Okay, we'll do. Um, yeah, so there are a lot of big groups. Looks like going on up here. Hello, everybody. We got another one over here. So they got all these little uh, covered tent areas. They even have like a little fire right over there. Hello. So you can have a cookout, family barbecue, whatever. Oh, we got a rope bridge here. All right, this is a good place to start, even though I'm going to walk over there later. Oh, yeah, that's slippery. That is slippery, so you got to hang on. Luckily, I got the flip-flops with the grip. 
Yeah, you gotta worry about the wood rotting. Look at that. Oh well. Only live once. Only live once. Wow. That is beautiful. All the way down this way too. Man, that's so nice. Oh yeah, also watch out. Those are, those are sharp and uh, rusted. Yeah, this is so nice. And they do have some trails though. Oh, look at the butterflies literally flying in front of my... What the heck? They were like trying to land on my hand. Um, they do have some paths. I guess you can take up some hiking and all that different areas, but you don't need to go any further when you got it right here. I'm told that water is freezing cold, so I'm going to find out. And I'm going to be the guinea pig. I don't know how deep I'll get. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. That's ice cold. I guess you get used to it. You just got to go for it, right? Wish I had water shoes. I can't see the bottom because it's turning up all the any dirt and sediment or everything, so it's making it like hard to see, as you can see there. And it is also fed by rivers up top, so yeah. That's the thing. You, you don't know if a rock's going to come down or a fish. They're going to slap you right in the head. I think I'd prefer the fish. Just saying. Oh, that is nice. And if it didn't have the rain earlier, I don't think it'd be this powerful, but because we got the rain, you get this kind of waterfall. I wonder, I wonder what it looks like when it's not, but I'm happy that we got some rain. So definitely go on to this side because at least you have rocks you can sit on. You get this incredible powerful waterfall right beside you. This is nice. I thought it would be freezing cold, but just get used to it. It's alright. It's not too bad at all. Look at this. They even have a piece of Wi-Fi right out here by the waterfall. So you can get your internet and you can do your live streaming here at the waterfall or something. I don't know how fast it'll be, but they said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be fast enough, but I don't know. Oh, somebody's uh like basket fell down into the rapids here so i made it unscathed pretty good other than uh one cut on my foot there just a small one because it is yeah you water shoes 100 there's no flat or anything you're just feeling around with your feet and trying to find a new spot to and then one will be way higher than the other it's slippery water shoes Okay, we're back at the grape farm and uh, now we're gonna have some lunch here. Gotta go over the gazebo. It just started raining again. And it keeps stopping and going and stopping and going. You never know what you're gonna get. Oh, look at this. They got the buco juice already and water already set up for us. Nice. Okay, here we go. So I got tilapia, rice, Real tilapia. buco, got it all. Oh, and native chicken is coming as well. It's called Tinola. Tinola. Papaya fruit. Oh, it's a papaya fruit. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a soup, right? Yeah. Silly okay. Soup. Love it. Love it. With the leaves of silly. silly. Pepper. Pepper leaves. Pepper leaves with pepper leaves. You trying to kill me? It's going to be pepper? Like, like, like hot peppers? No, not the leaves. The leaves only. Okay. Okay. Just checking. 
I, I don't die. I just get the hiccups and then that's it. It's hard to talk. Here we go. Here we go. Native chicken Excuse. soup, essentially. Oops. It looks delicious. It smells ridiculously good. Add some more to that because that's how good this soup really is. Tastes absolutely delicious. It becomes very addicting too. Okay, for the tilapia, I'm not a big fan of eating the, the scales, that kind of thing, but they've cut it open for me so that I can actually get into it, and I can just grab... There's, there is a bone Oh, there. I see, that's got this bones. This one, this one, the one that okay. I'm going to. Okay, okay. Uh, that one. I'm such a picky eater when it comes to fish. No bones? Yes. Looks Native good. Native tilapia. Native tilapia. Isn't, doesn't tilapia just like a word for any kind of fish? In English, it's um, carp. Hmm. Oh, it's carp Family fish. Carp fish. Because it lives in a river. Yeah, mm. in a river. That's excellent. Yeah, that's really good. So yeah, that's the best of all worlds for me. No bones, no scales, just meat. So even though this is all we expected, okay? They came out and brought us a whole native chicken here. Um, this is a binacol soup? Binacol soup. Binacol soup, yeah. So it's a little bit more sour, but not much, actually. It's not, It's really, really good. Um, it, but it's boiled, so it's a little bit tex different texture when you boil it, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, we've got way too much food once again. Once again, too much food. <laughs> I hope you are very hungry. Very, very hungry, people. Because this is so much food. And it's pouring rain right now. We're not going anywhere anyway. This is Isa fruit ice cream. And so Isa is actually very common here, fruit tree, where they grow and they, they or uh, the fruit eventually turns orange and they've developed a whole industry around it. So I've never had it. I don't think I've ever had it. And it's like in between an orange and then something whiter, I guess. Oh, it's so creamy. Really, really creamy texture. It's its own thing because I can't come up with a word. I have no idea what I'm eating right now. Normally you try to say, okay, it's like an orange and a banana, or it's like this or like that. I can't come up with anything. It's like it's nothing else. It's Isa. It's delicious, but I can't give you a description that matches somebody else's. Well, we tried, tried. And unfortunately the driver won't eat anymore. We're trying to get the driver to eat more because we don't want anything to go to waste. Hopefully none of it will go to waste. Somebody should eat this. I hate to see wasted food. So believe it or not, we do still have one more waterfalls to go to. Uh, that's going to be cool. This one's called Kawa Falls. It's like the Kawa bath sort of stuff. And uh, I got to tell you, this was really, really fun. You have to try this. It's a quick excursion. It's not too bad to come out here like an hour and then being so close that you don't have to hike for two hours through the, through the forest or whatever. Big deal. That's a big deal to me. Okay, so this one is actually a bit of a trek. You don't get to do that nice smooth path and all that, but uh, that's where the adventure lays. So here you go. You can see here down at the bottom of the stream, we got to make our way up somewhere down there. It is pretty muddy and this big truck's coming to splash us. Got to move quick, got to move quick. We're good, we're good. No splash, no splash. Our tour guide here is totally dressed like a tour guide. <laughs> the sexy mama tour guide. The sexy mama tour guide. <laughs> Woo! Just Google that, guys. Just Google that. You're going to get all kinds of really crazy results, I bet. Another word for today. Sexy mama tour guide. Yeah, that's right. Another word. That's right. And make sure you select uh, safe search off. Okay, we gotta head up this, so it's nice, gonna be nice and slippery and slick and muddy. But I got grip, so we're good. I'm good. All right, knock on wood. Actually, it hasn't been that muddy. It's been pretty decent. Pretty easy to walk, to be honest. It's a nice flattened pathway the whole way. I 
I may or may not have spoken too soon. This is what happens. Knock on wood all the time. And I didn't. Keep going. Up and up and up. Oh, look, and it's actually paved up ahead. That's interesting. Usually you find that at the bottom, not at the top. And here we are at the top. 20 pesos entry. The good thing about booking a tour is you already build all that in so that they take care of it as you go, which is great. You don't carry money around when you're wearing a bathing suit. We got a couple, uh, let's call them outhouses. CRs. Always have running water thanks to the mountains here though. And you got some steps. You can hear the rushing water down there. It sounds amazing. And it's not like you don't get anything for your your money. Look at that. They've got like cabanas up along the mountainside here. More than get your 20 pesos worth. Although you got to hike through this. Yeah. Or a girl like me. I didn't get wet at all. You need big legs. You need big legs. I went that way. <laughs> look at that. My first time. Oh, look at this. All right, let's go over to the other one. Oh, and another one here. So yeah, it is like a Kawa bath. It's uh, without the heat underneath it and everything. Falls flowing down, all the way down into this nice big bath area. Once again, it would be a little clearer if we didn't have all this rain recently. But this is nice. All right, it's gonna be slimy, I think. Yeah, from the rock. Okay, it's a little warmer, I think. And then again, it could be, you know, used to it. I don't know. Okay, that gets too slimy. I was gonna walk on that. This is a beautiful little destination. Especially if it was really hot right now. That would make all the difference in the world. And I feel like, I don't wanna try it out, to be honest, because I didn't bring a towel this time, but you know everything's smoothed out, all the rock and everything? This is probably a very smoothed out bath in here. So you don't have to worry so much about your feet. All right, so I just found out something, that this is super deep. And this is the diving spot. So there's one there, you can see. And then one right here, where you could dive off into this deep lagoon. Wow. If I could see the bottom, I might have tried it actually without the, the towel and all that. I'd just say go for it, but I want to be able to see or see other people who've dived here all the time, them going and where they're jumping, then I might. But as is now, that sounds like a total hazard for me without being able to see the bottom. You may never see this vlog if I actually jump. So, another time, another time. This thing goes a lot further than I saw down below. I can see more of it way up in the bushes there. So this is a really, really long waterfall. I think my video just went rated R. No more PG-13. All right, there goes Naomi, or also known as Sexy Mama Tour Guide. Sexy All right. Guide. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Back to the city for us. Yeah. And watch, there'll probably be no rain in the city. It's probably just all here in the mountains. Okay, first off, look at this. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous view. Wow, just unbelievable wow. But look straight ahead there. You see those lines? Those are waterfalls, gigantic waterfalls running down that mountain. Oh, wow. Picture perfect right there. Put yourself a nice big house right up on this hill here and just well and put yourself above the telephone lines so you don't have to look at all the electrical lines um and then that's it boom that would be your view every day oh wow this is the life this is the kind of life i kind of always wanted 
when we were looking for a place to live and what we always thought of, even when we were in Canada, the thing we were thinking of is, okay, we want to live by the beach. We want to be near a city so that we'd have the conveniences that we're all used to, you know, that kind of thing. And, I don't know, we wanted the quiet life with the ability to find the fast-paced life. Does that make sense? Of course, you need to worry about health.